Hey yo, I've been hearing about undervolting a CPU or a GPU. What does that even mean? So undervolting is when you lower the voltage going to your CPU or your GPU while keeping your performance relatively the same. Let's pour over the details. Wait, 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 wait. Why would you want to lower anything on your PC? So lowering the voltage reduces power consumption, it reduces heat, and it slows down your fan noise while still maintaining stable performance. It can make your system run cooler and more efficiently without sacrificing speed. Okay, so does it improve performance? Not directly. Your clock speed stays the same, but since the chip runs cooler, it can boost for longer before it hits its thermal limits. This means better sustained performance in long gaming or rendering sessions. Gotcha, okay, so how do you undervolt? So it's a little complicated, but for CPUs, you can use your BIOS settings or software like Intel XTU or AMD Ryzen Master. For GPUs, tools like MSI Afterburner let you fine tool the voltage while keeping the stable clock speeds. Ooh, that sounds like a lot. What are the risks? If you undervolt too much, your system might crash or become unstable, but unlike overclocking, undervolting doesn't cause permanent damage. So you can just tweak the settings until you find what's stable. So undervolting kind of sounds like free efficiency, really. I mean, that's a little work on your part, right? But there is less power, lower temps, quieter fans, all while keeping the same performance. It's a really smart way to optimize your system without extra costs.